For this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and use three tomatoes, the juice of one lime, half a red onion, finely minced, a fourth cup of packed cilantro leaves, a couple of pinches of salt, ground pepper. You wanna make sure that you actually mince this very finely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and mince half of this onion right here. Juice of one lime. Roll it. Let's go ahead and cut it. Wham. Push that in there like so. This is really actually really good because you don't get any of the seeds. You get all the juice though, that's for certain. Go ahead and take some of the cilantro leaves. We're gonna take actually all of them and we're gonna finally mince them. So I am gonna mince all of the cilantro. However, I'm only going to use half of it for this salsa. The other half I will use for the guacamole. Put it in here. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Let me tell you. We're gonna give this a quick mix, put in some salt and some pepper. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it with our spoon. Handy. Go ahead and mix that really well. And... Mm. That's perfect, actually. Let it chill in the fridge for about an hour. All those flavors from the tomatoes, the onions, the cilantro, and the lime juice, they're gonna come together really well, and you're gonna enjoy this even more. Before I get started on this guacamole, I just wanted to let you know, we have been making this guacamole the same way for years. My mom, my grandma, that's actually where I learned how to make the guacamole. And everybody loves it, every party. Let's go. What we're gonna need for the guacamole, half of the onion, we're gonna mince that. Four avocados, you just touch them, make sure they're a little soft and they have a little resistance, but not too much. The juice of one lime, a pinch of salt, a couple of cracks of pepper, and our cilantro. We're going to start first with the onion because I want to let it sit in the lime for as long as I can while I'm preparing the guacamole. The reason why I put the lime juice with the onions first and let them sit there is because it'll reduce the harshness of the onion. Put a dash of salt in here, a couple cracks of pepper in there. There we go. Let's let those sit for a little bit. Let them sit right there. Let's open these avocados. Really funny thing that we do in Guatemala is that we actually keep the seeds inside. It's a little trick that I learned from my grandma. It keeps the avocados from getting all brown, especially if you're planning on making it ahead of time and you want to bring it to a party or something. Guess what? It's gonna stay fresh now. And that's a pretty good avocado. It's not bad looking. Not harsh on the eyes, they say. I don't know who says that, but somebody says it. And you don't need to keep all the seeds in here. If you have four avocados, maybe you keep one seed, or you keep two in there, that's okay. I like my guacamole a little chunky. And these avocados are really perfectly ripe. Cilantro first, all right. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our onions with the lime juice. Give that a quick mix. You know what, you're almost home with the best guacamole you've ever had in your life. Mmm, -hmm. that's very good. Let's put a little bit more salt in there. A little more pepper. And this is really up to you. Whatever you think this needs more of, you can go ahead and put it on there, give it a good mix, and I believe we're ready with this. 